Hi guys, it's Cubby Thompson. So I asked on Instagram if you guys wanted a Q&A video next or a tattoo tour video next. And you guys voted on tattoo tour. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little tour of the tattoos that I currently have on my body. So let's hop into it. Nope. Okay. First things first, uh, let's start on my purse. Um, so currently, I i mean, I guess technically I have three on my face, but it's only one. Um, I have these three little dots right above my eyebrow. A lot of people ask if that's a tattoo, and yes, it is. Um, this heart that is on my cheek is not a tattoo yet, but it is probably going to be the next one I get, so. My fingers. Really like finger tattoos. Finger tattoos are my fave. Uh, so my fingers were one of the first places I got tattooed, which is very surprising to most people because the hands are normally the last place people go. Hands and the face are the last place people go, and those were the places I darted right to. So started strong. Let me get closer for you. Get a nice view. Where are all my rings? Why don't I have all my rings on? Here we go. I got my rings. Are festive. Um, so this hand, I have my little alien dude. I love him. This one is my bloody knife, which is one of my favorite tattoos that I have. This one's three boxes. This is actually like a Johnny Depp tattoo. I actually got this idea from Johnny Depp because he has this tattoo and I was like, hey, that looks cool. Um, yeah, I'm not like a super fan of Johnny Depp or anything. I just thought the tattoo looked cool, so yeah. Um, and then on this hand, I have my shark tooth because sharks are my favorite thing of life. Then I have this M and a heart. This is actually for my lizard Maleficent. And then this is, uh, it's just, you know, it's just that. <laughs> so yeah, I plan, I want to get this one covered up with something Egyptian. I don't know. Because then I'd have like aliens and Egyptians. And I think it'd be really cool. I don't know. Um, Let's do the ones on this arm first, since there's only two. My uh, dark mark from Harry Potter. Magic and the M is the Hogwarts. Deathly Hallows symbol. This is just the Disney G, a wand, and then a crescent moon. But it spells out magic. And <laughs> moving on to my collarbones. Ooh, saucy. Um, this is in Morse code. If you can read Morse code, there you go. This one's for you. Haven't met many people who can read Morse code though, so if you can, brownie points. Then on this side, it says, Dorbis mine sunshine, which means you are my sunshine, and it is in my grandmother's handwriting. It's a saying she used to say to me all the time, and I just wanted it on me. Permanently, because she's she's a pretty rad Oma, so you know she she deserves to be immortalized. Oh, let's go to my legs since there's only two on my legs. So the back of my thighs says Hocus Pocus. Huge Halloween buff, if you can't tell by the other 9 million tattoos on my body. Uh, Hocus Pocus is one of the best movies in the entire world, in my personal opinion, so I got it on my butt. Um, fun story about that tattoo is I met Doug Jones, who plays um, Billy, who's the like zombie ex-boyfriend or whatever in the movie Hocus Pocus, if you've seen it. If you haven't, you're really missing out and you should go watch it immediately. Pause this video, go watch Hocus Pocus, 
Welcome back, how was it? Life changing? I know, right? I met him in a hotel and the first words out of my mouth were, oh my God, I have to show you my butt. Um, him not knowing there was a tattoo of Hocus Pocus on the back of my legs. So, uh, yeah. Great first impression. I, I mean, I'm really good at those. That's, that's on my track record, check it out. That, you, no, you can't see it. I'm gonna have to be in a really weird position. Don't laugh at me. Can you see it? Can you see it? Focus. Focus. I hope the Hocus Pocus is in focus. Now, moving on to the star centerpiece which we are all here for, the Halloween arm. Um, this is my favorite. I love it so much. Uh, yeah, I don't really know where to start. I guess it was just the first thing that I got, which was the Wednesday Adams on the very bottom of my arm. She was the first piece that I got on this arm. And yeah, I think she's beautiful. And I love looking at her. And she's so pretty. Um, a recent addition to her was she got the three dots on her eyebrow. Just like your girl. It's so cute, I know. On the back, there is a cemetery, a little skulled crow, and the Adams family house. Um in the bent of my arm, there's these adorable little candy corn. Uh, this is my favorite part on this arm. It is the classic like plastic vampire tee, but I love how they look in this tattoo. I don't know. I really dig it. Um, I have my Frankenstein's monster. Then there's more candy corn on the back. It's so cute. Uh, I have a jack-o-lantern. Oh, there's like the moon on my elbow. Um, Jack-o-lantern, poison apple. There's this voodoo doll with pins in him wearing a witch hat. He has a pentagram on one arm and the number 31 on a leg for Halloween. Uh, he's holding a broom. I have a coffin on the inside. This I want to get changed into a different color. I'm not really feeling the yellow. I don't really feel like it works with the rest of the arm, so I want to get it done a different color as well as finish this part, even though I know it's gonna hurt. <laughs> um, but yeah, is there any tattoos that I missed? I don't think so. I think that was all of them. Let's do like classic like tattoo questions. Okay. So, my first tattoo that I got was the Morse code one. I have since gotten it touched up about seven times. <laughs> um, my favorite tattoo, I think I already said, but it's the uh, knife on my finger. And then my second favorite tattoo would be the vampire teeth. Um most painful tattoo the hocus pocus on the back of my legs by far um the next most painful one would have been these candy corn right in the bend of my arm that one didn't feel so great either but we survived look how adorable they are it was worth it um when i was like a beauty queen like Miss America type beauty queen. Um, so, you know, those girls don't have tattoos. Those ta tattoos are not allowed in that community. Um, so one day I was just like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to wear a dress and crown. I want to wear a spiked belt and converse. And so yeah, I just like traded in my tiara. <laughs> and yeah, one day I just went and got a tattoo and yeah, said goodbye to the pageant world and said hello to the 
alternative modeling world. And honestly, that decision I think was for the best. I think I am much happier and feel more like me with all of this beautiful artwork than, you know, without it. I don't regret any of my tattoos. I don't wish I didn't get them or anything like that. I love them. I can't wait to get more. I do plan on getting more. I do plan on getting this arm done next. I want it to be like all nerdy video game fandom fun. And then I think I want to get a bloody axe on this hand to match my bloody knife on this hand. You tell me what you guys think. I don't really know yet. I haven't made any strong decisions. But yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little tattoo tour video. You guys have been wanting to see my tattoos, so there you go. Hope you liked them, hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. I thought I had to be a rapper while you did that. <laughs>